To write the Lewis structure for SeBr4 selenium tetrabromide, let's count the valence electrons up. Selenium that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A, has six valence electrons. Bromine, group 17, has seven. We have four bromines. So we have a total of 34 valence electrons for the SeBr4 Lewis structure. We'll put Se in the center, and then we'll put the four bromines around it. We'll put a pair of electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. And then we'll go around and complete the octets on the bromines. At this point, we've used 32 valence electrons, and we have 34. But all the atoms, they have octets. So we're trying to figure out where can we place those last two valence electrons. Turns out that selenium, that can have an expanded octet, more than eight valence electrons. So we'll place that last pair of electrons right here on the SE. If you check the formal charges for each of these atoms here in the SEBr4 Lewis structure, you'll see that the formal charges are zero. And that means this is the most favorable or a likely structure for SEBr4. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for selenium tetrabromide. And thanks for watching.